Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark. I am in a little different setup today, uh, and I, I apologize for the sound quality. I don't have my fancy microphone that's in my little recording studio that I normally film my videos in, but I figured that since the daylight is so beautiful today that I would just sit here and, uh, you know, take advantage of the sunlight of spring. Welcome to my first impressions. So if you watched my iMats haul, you saw me talk about this product. This is from Lit Cosmetics. I've never tried any of their products before, and when I was looking at some of their glitters and stuff, I was kind of intrigued by this. This is the Liquid Metals. It's basically like kind of gold leaf or something similar to that. It's a kind of flaky glitter situation, but it doesn't come across as glitter. It comes across as a just kind of liquid metal situation. I was very intrigued by this, so I actually purchased this, and I also purchased uh, just a mini bottle of the Lit Clear Glitter Adhesive. Now, the way that you use this product is the same as all lit products, is that you dip your brush in some of this liquid, and then you dip it into here, and then you just kind of brush it on to the eye. I am wearing this today. Uh, if you want to see me apply this, stay tuned to the demo for this look later in the video. Okay, so a couple thoughts about this. So I got this shade Addicted with Gold Flake. It's just a like very kind of like yellowy, orangey gold shade, so you can see it on my eyes. I noticed as I was applying it, it went on very smooth and very quickly. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. It will save me so much time doing my makeup. And this glitter adhesive really is amazing. A little goes a long way. You just dip your brush in it, and then you pick up a bunch of the pigment or the liquid metals, and it really just spreads it out very evenly over your eye. Now, as I was applying it, you could like feel it drying, and I was like, oh, is this going to crease? Like this feels like it's getting a little crusty. And when I first applied it, it really did. And as you can see in the demo, I kind of went back and applied stuff to my crease area. But as you can see, I mean, there is a little bit of wear in my crease. Now I am going, I went way above my natural eye socket line to like create these very dramatic eyes. And I do have very hooded eyes. So as you can see, when I open my eyes, most of that color kind of disappears. It goes like folds in on itself. So potentially my creasing problem is more than one would normally experience if they were just kind of putting this on their mobile lid and they don't have too much hooded eye situation going on. I'm going to check in later at the end of the night and let you know how this is worn, if it, it's totally all flaked off, if it's looking good still. Um, I mean, it really is stunning. Like, it's a, it looks like gold leaf. Like, it looks like I painted gold onto my eyes. I'm very happy with it. I think it's great. Let's see how it holds up. As far as I could tell, this liquid metal from Lit has not currently been released yet. There was some kind of PR a little while back saying that on April 1st it would be released in select Sephoras, but I don't have any information about that. I never saw this in a Sephora, and I, I can't find it on the Sephora website. So if there was a release of this, it was very limited, and it is over now. They had a couple different shades of this at iMats. There were different shades, like shade names, like Addicted with Gold Flake, Addicted with Silver Flake, and the color kind of tone of them was slightly different because of those different combinations. If I can find some more information about the release of these, I will put it down below. I don't know if this is a full release, if they were just doing a little trial to see how it went, but I'm, I'm kind of interested in this. The other products that I would compare this to are those Stila I think they're called like modern metals, those pigments, things that you have to mix with the liquid, like almost exact same process as this to get it on the eye. And those I think retail for $32. This, I believe at IMATS I paid $14 for it, and if it retails for the same as a lit glitter, it would be $16. So this is a lot cheaper than that type of product. I haven't tried those products, so I can't vouch for how effective this is compared to like the Stila one. I'm not sure if there are any other companies that really have promoted a kind of liquid 
metal situation with adhesive, but I will say like I'm what I'm curious to see how this maybe would wear like with the lit adhesive compared to how it would wear if I use some Inglot Duraline to apply it. I'm not sure if that would work or or what would happen. I know Duraline can be used with pigments and stuff. This isn't quite a pigment, it's more like a flake situation. So anyway, I don't know if that would work. Anyway, but that's that's kind of the info that I have about this product right now, which is unfortunately not a ton. I'm happy with it thus far, despite some of the kind of wear and tear, although it is super shimmery and shiny, so I don't really know how much that's actually going to translate. Like, you know, you can't really see it unless, like, you really focus on it. I also did not wear a eyeshadow base today. I just wore this right on top of, like, my foundation that I had set with powder on my eyelids. So I don't know if that would make a difference or what. So if you want to see me apply this, as well as do the rest of my eye makeup and my face, stay tuned. Hi. All right, so I'm starting just by tracing out my cut crease using this NYX eye pencil in the shade brown. We're going to be covering this with other shades so it doesn't have to be super precise. And I'm taking my Lit Liquid Metals in the shade Addicted using this glitter adhesive from Lit. I'm placing it into the cap of the little bottle and then taking just a kind of flat cream eyeshadow brush from Sigma, dipping it in the adhesive and then dipping it into that gold flake. And I'm just brushing it on my lid going from the lash line all the way up to that crease line. Now, as you can see, this really paints on very smoothly, and it's pretty good gold metallic coverage, I would say. Now, again, I did not use an eyeshadow primer. I'm just, paste I'm just placing this product directly on my eye that I just have a little bit of foundation and setting powder on. I did not use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk as I normally do, just to really see how the product works on its own. Now, I'm going back in, dipping into the adhesive and adding more of that flake, just to really fill in some of the patchiness of my placement of this product, especially in that crease area. Now, I'm actually going to reapply this a little bit later also, but I found that this product layers really well. It doesn't ball up and get kind of bunchy as you're applying more of it. Just letting that dry a little bit with my cute nails. Then I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm going in with the shade Ludwin, on just a kind of domed shader brush and I'm placing that as a transition shade all through my crease then taking Shax the matte black from the palette and using a flat shader brush this is my Holy Grail Urban Decay electric palette brush I'm just tracing out the crease and bringing it in on the outer V this is basically just placing the shadow and then I'm going to blend it out later I'm taking out that domed shader brush and blending those two together with more of that transition shade Ludwin. And going back and forth, adding more black as I need and blending out. Taking my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liquid Eyeliner, and I am lining the bottom of my crease. This really creates a dramatic cut crease situation. You do not have to be super precise about the top of this line because as you can see, I'm going to then blend that out with the more precise end of that Urban Decay brush and that black eyeshadow shacks. But the bottom you want to keep nice and cut. Now as you can see, I've lost some product on the center of my crease. So I'm just going to go back in with more of that Lit Liquid Metals and just try to keep my eye as closed as possible as it's drying. Now I'm taking a combo of two NYX Slide On Eye Pencils in the shades Glitzy Gold and Golden Bronze to line my waterline and under my lower lash line. And I'm blending that out with a little Morphe pencil brush. And then I am doing a basic winged eyeliner with my Physician's Formula liner. Now as you can see, this Liquid Metals does create a little bit of a crepey texture on the lid, so I don't have the smoothest line, but I don't really mind it. It's shiny and shimmery enough that it looks just fine. Then I am taking my new lovely Cosetti D230 brush, which is just a beautiful, precise 
liner slash shader brush, and I am buffing out the bottom of my lower winged eyeliner with some of that shade Shax from the Shade and Light palette. I love this brush. It is perfect for smudging out a lash line or doing something precise like this. Taking my new Big Cosetti Tapered Blush Brush and two blush shades from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette, I am just adding a kind of mauve blush to my face, and then I'm adding a little bit of bronzer around the edges of my face using the shade brown from that same palette. For highlight today, I'm using Shiro Cosmetics White Chocolate Frog Highlight. I'm using my Morphe M509 brush, which is one of my favorite highlighting brushes. In a previous video, I had said this is a synthetic brush. It is not. It is a goat hair brush. Then I'm just kind of buffing back in that blush shade with whatever product is left on my Cosetti brush, just to kind of make the highlight seem like it's coming from within. Lining the lips with ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade Wet perfect kind of cool taupey brown shade. And then I'm taking Lunatic Cosmetic Labs AK47 lipstick, which I have gotten so many questions about what this lip color is. Here it is. It is this AK47. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm just using a precision lip brush to kind of touch up and blend the liner into that shade. And then I am cleaning up any mistakes with my MAC Full Coverage Foundation in W10, and then doing my beauty mark with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Some setting spray with my blue marble. And that is the finished look. Lit, liquid metals, glamorous, gold, metal. Okay, so that was the little demo of the look. I am about to go out and perform. I'm performing in a couple hours. I'm actually gonna film another video, I think, in my regular setup, which you will maybe have seen before this, my eyeshadow palette anti-haul video. Then I'm going to go out and I'm gonna perform, I'm gonna do my gig, and then I'm gonna come on home and I'm going to show you exactly how this has worn. Okay, I'm back, so what time is it right now? It is 11.56, so that means that I have been in this makeup since around five, so about seven hours. Um, and everything's held up pretty well. The lit glitter stuff, however, gotta say, it has run, oh, you can see that, I have a gold tear streak. I performed, I did a very energetic Miley Cyrus number, so I was doing a lot of jumping around, so I did a lot, I sweat a lot, and as you can see, it just really, not only is the crease area kind of really worn away, but uh, as you can see, I sweat, sweat kind of picked up some of the product and has made it trickle down my face. It doesn't. I tried to wipe it off and it really is like, it took whatever the glue or adhesive that was on my face already and kind of moved it with it. So it is kind of like now just repositioned there. So not waterproof. I would even say not long wearing this product, this lit liquid metals. At least this version, maybe it's like a prototype version, who knows. They have a waterproof base that I also bought, but I was hesitant to use that tonight because the woman at the lip counter told me that you needed oil-based remover to get it off. And I was just nervous about putting that on my lid, especially like my mobile lid where like I was worried my eyelids would be glued together. I don't know, maybe I'll try that and like really let it dry with my lid open, you know, like that. But with the regular adhesive, the liquid metal didn't hold up very long. It looked really pretty from afar and for stage, you know. Would I rock this out at like another gig that I'm gonna be out for all night type deal? No, I would not. I think this is like kind of great as like a photo shoot, video filming thing, but for like long wear, I don't know. Unless you put like a very small amount of it like on the center of the lid, maybe that would be okay. But again, I'd still just be worried if you're gonna sweat, if you're a sweater and like you get, if, it, if sweat tri trickles down and crosses that area wherever it is, it's gonna move that product and carry it down onto the rest of your face, which is 
is a little creepy, and then it's really hard to get off. It is on. I have got a tear. I've teared. It's there. Sparkles. The tears of a clown. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of like review, first impression situation. If there are any other products from my iMats haul that you want me to kind of do this type of video with, please let me know. I will be happy to do that. And uh, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more of this type of good stuff. Check out my other videos, my anti-hauls, my tutorials. Kimberly hangs my webs there. You know, all that kind of good stuff. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.